Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this quick video, I want to show you the 10 shortcuts that I've been using the most on Lightroom for the last 10 years. You know, you get some habit with using uh, different shortcuts and I'm really curious to see what shortcuts you use the most and please leave a comment on this. I'm going to show you the shortcut that I use the most from the one that I use the least to the one that I use the most. Here we go. Starting in number 10 position, Control M for Panorama. You select all three photos, and if you go here to Photo Merge, you can see that Control M is gonna basically photo merge the three photo. Number nine, it's the HDR. You select three photo in HDR, normally exposed, underexposed, overexposed. You select all three, and Control H, and boom, it launches the HDR window. Okay, number eight the X key when you use the crop. So I often do photos for, you know, like social media for Facebook, and I have this kind of landscape cropping, but now let's say that I go to four by five, and I wanna make this into uh, like an Instagram photo. If you press X, it's gonna rotate between landscape and portrait, and you can go directly and do your Instagram cropping right away. Number seven, E for full screen mode. So let's say I, I wanna go see this photo in full screen, I press E, and boom, it's in full screen mode. Number six, G for grid mode. If I want to put this in the grid mode, I can press G and I can say, oh, I want this one and I can press E and go back to this one or press G again, get this one and press E and go into full screen mode. Sometimes it's more convenient than just using the bottom of the strip here. Number five, N for survey mode. Don't ask me why, but survey mode is amazing. So survey mode basically is this. You, I'm gonna select a whole bunch of photos that I kinda like, and let's say, so I'm pressing the, the control key, I'm selecting a whole bunch of photos, you know, that I maybe wanna use for a magazine or something, I don't know which one is the nicest, and I'm just selecting different photos like this, and then I press N, and bonus key is Shift Tab. If you press Shift Tab, you go into full screen mode, and I'm like, oh, Okay, I don't like this one. I'm going to take this one out. Oh, I don't like this one. I'm going to press X. And you can, by elimination, decide which one you really want. And every time you take one out, the other four gets really bigger. So N is something that I use a lot with Shift Tab. And Shift Tab puts you back into the normal mode. Control F to find a photo. So Control F, for example, I click on all my photos. I press Control F and I type a C, for example and it's gonna take me all the photos that you know are taken at sea. So that's something that I use a lot. Number three, we're getting to the top of the list, B for adding to the quick collection. Now this is something I use all the time. So for example, you see here I've got different collections. I can click on new HDR and I can right click and say uh, set as a target collection, all right? And now I can go, for example, in, I can click here and go to folder in library. And um, let's say I want to add this photo or that photo, or let me go to another collection. I want to add this photo of Ansel Adams to the new HDR. I can press B and now it's added here in the new HDR. You can see it's here. Let's say I want to add this photo, B, B, B. And all it does, it just adds in the target collection, the photos, which is really cool. Number two, the label system. So the label system is, uh, is something I use all the time. So let's say I want to isolate this photo as being an HDR. I can press, for example, six on my keyboard and that's gonna set the label to red. Six on that keyboard, red, red. I can filter just by red photo. I only have the red photos, which is here. And you know, I can go back and that's something I use a lot. So let's say, for example, I wanna locate all my panoramas and all my HDR really fast. So I, I, I press six, it's gonna give a red color to this six six and then i have a let's say another hdr here which i already did and now i can filter by red and i i have my panorama and i have my hdr that's something i use all the time and shortcut number one is the star system the star system is really the way i work basically what i do is whenever i uh, i go through my photos whenever i do a photo shoot i give a one star by pressing number one to a photo that i think has potential if the photo is amazing, I think it has a lot of potential, I give it a two. Otherwise, I just give it a one, and I go through all my photos by giving one to all the photos that I think have potential. I just give them one, one. And then I filter all my one photos, and then I go through again at photos, and sometimes I bump up to, um, like this, this one I can say, oh, I'm gonna give it two star to this one, and a two star to this one. This one I'm gonna give it zero. And I go through all my ones, and I give, 
some of the photos two stars, for example, okay? And you just press two on your keyboard. And then I filter by two, and usually that's the one I'm gonna retouch. And once they are retouched, you know, for example, uh, I'm just doing a really quick retouching. Once they are retouched, I give it a three stars. And then all the retouch photos have a three star. I've been doing this for 10 years. And boom, now I got, this one is not retouch. I got all my retouch photos that have three stars. So voila, I hope this inspired you to use your shortcut. Don't forget to like this video and don't forget to leave me a comment and tell me which shortcut you like the most or you use the most in Lightroom. And also check out my last week videos on whether or not retouching is cheating. I got a lot of comments on this video. Check it out.